everyone. Today we aren't cooking. We are making salad. So today's recipe is a nice, delicious, refreshing salad. It's too hot to cook. So let's put together a nice meal that we can have for lunch or dinner. This is gonna have some strawberries in it, some apples. We're gonna do some goat cheese. You know, you, basically you can throw in whatever you want. I like to throw in tons of things because it makes it very interesting salad. Lots of textures and flavors going on and I love that. And we're gonna dress this salad with a nice lime dressing that I think you're gonna love. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. Time for our chef joke. What did the salad dressing say to the tomato? Don't look, I'm dressing. All right, so let's start by going over the, our ingredients for our lime dressing. So we've got our olive oil here. I'm using a nice uh, extra virgin olive oil. We have some garlic powder, some ground coriander, fresh lime juice, always use fresh, and date paste. Now I wanna talk about the date paste for a second. Now. With the date paste, I like to use that. It's a, if you've seen my videos, you know that I love to use date paste in a lot of different recipes. It's a great sweetener, better than using sugar in my opinion, because it has a lot of vitamins and minerals and fiber in it. So, and it has a very nice caramely-like flavor with, that I think goes really well in a lot of recipes. We'll need some Dijon mustard and some salt. All right, so we'll start mixing up our dressing. I'm gonna start with my olive oil. I'm gonna place about a quarter of a cup into my bowl here. Next is a little Dijon mustard. Yes, I'm using my fingers, but my fingers are clean. And you can get the written recipe for this down below this video in the description. So click down there where it says show more if, if you're on a computer. And if you're on an iPhone, I think it's a little triangle on the right side below the video. So click that and you'll see that along with all kinds of other information down there. Next goes our date paste. We're gonna put a, these are gonna be heaping tablespoons. And you can adjust this sweetness to your liking, of course. That's a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of ground coriander. And then we need to add our limes to this, so we want to give them a nice little roll on the counter to kind of loosen up those juices in the cells, and then it'll come out a lot quicker and easier. All right, so we'll just cut this in half. And we need about a quarter of a cup of this as well. And I'll just place it in my juicer here. And I like to measure it out into my cup. So we'll just place that right in here in our bowl. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. Take a whisk and whisk it up. All right, so now it's just a matter of putting our salad together. I can't wait, I'm starving to eat this. Uh, we're gonna use some herb, I got some herb salad mix here that I'm gonna toss in a bowl and we're just gonna chop all these things up and I'll show you as we go. I'll just be adding them to the bowl and then it'll be time to dress it and then eat it. Now I like to add mushrooms to my salad, but I like them with the super, super fine dice because of the texture thing. I'm one of those kind of people that doesn't like the texture of them, but I like the flavor and they're healthy for you. So I'm just gonna chop them up super fine and I won't even hardly know they're there. I've got some artichoke hearts over here that I'm gonna chop a little bit smaller and I got cabbage over here. So place some of those greens into a bowl. All right, so here goes the mushrooms. I got the artichoke hearts, toss those in. And here goes our shredded cabbage. All right, I've got a few chopped beets. I just happen to have these leftovers in my fridge. So these are already cooked. I got these at Trader Joe's. They come back in packed, perfect. You just take them out and chop them up and they're good to go. I like to add pumpkin seeds. I picked these up. This is uh, sprouted pumpkin seeds from Costco. These are delicious and they are jam packed with protein and magnesium and zinc and potassium. So I like to throw in a bunch of these. They're lightly salted. I'm gonna to toss those in. Oh, and then some hemp hearts. Again, another good protein source. So I'll put a sprinkle of that in. All right, I'm still adding some fruit to this, an apple and some strawberries. I got some nice organic strawberries here that I'm just gonna slice up and put those in. I'm, I'm leaving the apple till last because it oxidizes. You could um, 
you know, sprinkle a little bit of the dressing on it because it's got some acidity from the lime in it and that would keep it from turning brown. That's an option, but I just decided not to do that right now. My apple's organic. I'm gonna leave the peeling on it. You can take it off if you want. So you wanna cut this up into just bite-sized pieces. And I'll place that in there. Last thing I have is some goat cheese crumbles that I just like a little bit of that in there. Everything here, of course, is optional. Add what you like, take out what you don't, and have a great salad. All right, time to dress this salad. And then I like to give it a little toss, mix everything together. There is so much good stuff in here, guys. This is one healthy salad. It will fill you up, it will satisfy you, and you won't walk away hungry with this. And of course, if you really want to, you could add some grilled chicken to this or shrimp or whatever. All right, it's taste test time. Oh my goodness, big bite. So many good flavors going on. Man, I love that, just everything in there. The dressing's got a little tang to it and a little bit of sweetness, which I like. Super delicious, right? That's what I always say. You gotta try this, so good. Might you be interested in another salad dressing recipe or even another salad recipe? Well, I've got you covered. I've got a very popular balsamic vinaigrette that I'm gonna leave a link for right here in this, right, right over there. Go ahead and click that. It'll take you to it. It is a delicious recipe. I think you'll love it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a comment, and help me share my channel by smashing the like button. That really does help. So thanks again. We'll see you next week.